Hello students, it has been 9 years from the commencement of the Digital India Mission. In today's class, we are going to look about Digital India Mission. Purpose of this mission and this mission has 9 pillars. What are the 9 pillars? Key government initiatives. And how far this mission has been successful? Basically statistics and also challenges. This will be the course of our class. This Digital India mission is launched in 2015 July 1st. It has been one year. It's a flagship government of India's umbrella scheme covering many different sectors and involving many different departments and also ministries. And coming to the major purpose of this mission, it is to provide digital infrastructure as an utility. As an utility. And second one is to provide governance and services on demand. Third one is to provide digital empowerment citizens. The three purpose of this mission is to provide digital infrastructure as an utility based service and second one is to provide governance and services on demand and in digital mode and thirdly is digital empowerment of the citizen. These are the three main objectives or the purpose of this mission and this mission has nine pillars. Let us look at the nine pillars of this mission. First one is to construct broadband highways. Second one access to public access of internet to public. Third one is information for all. Fourth, IT based jobs. And fifth one, e-governance. Sixth, e-kranti. Seventh, electronic manufacturing. Eighth, early harvest programs. And ninth, universal access to mobile connections. So, and these are the total nine pillars of this Digital India initiative. Now, let us look at each and every pillar here. So, first one, broadband highways are constructed in the rural areas, urban areas. And also national information infrastructure is also created in the, in the concept of broadband highways. And second one is access to internet to the public. It is done by common service centers. Common service centers deliver the services to the people or from the government. And third one is information for all. According to the information for all, it includes online hosting of information. Government in government using social media platforms and also it involves two-way communication between citizen and also government. And third one is IT-based jobs. Create IT-based jobs, especially in rural areas and northeast areas. And e-governance. 
facilitate governance in electronic format or digital format and third one is e kranti e kranti is the delivery of services electronically and fourth one is e manufacturing e manufacturing includes manufacturing of electronic uh, items in india itself and also aiming for net zero imports and fourth one is early harvest programs by using biometric attendances and with the universal access to mobile connections this actually enables increased network penetration in the country these are the whole nine pillars of digital infrastructure and also digital india initiative and also the sub components of this things coming to the government initiation initiatives what did government do to make this accessible first government initiative is aadhar Aadhaar is a 12 digit unique identification number which is given to the citizens which can be accessible all over the country and it helps in identification of the person and second one is umang 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 and second one is umang umang is unified mobile application for governance related services and you can access the governance related services through this platform digitally and third one is common service centers common service centers deliver the services of government or businesses to citizens there are more than 400 services of government delivered through the common service centers to the citizens and also overall through the length of the country there are more than 5 lakh common service centers which are operating right now and third one fourth one is मेरी पहचान एंड इट प्रोवाइड सिटीजन ईज टू एक्सेस द गवर्नमेंट पोर्टल्स एंड फिफ्थ वन बी मैप एवरी वन नो द बी मैप इट इज टू एनेबल मोबाइल पेमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली एंड थर्ड फिफ्थ सिक्स वन ओवर एज पर द मिशन ओवर ट्वेल्व लैख पोस्ट ऑफिस or electronically integrated and 6.83 lakh kilometers of optical fiber connections are given so these are the initiatives taken by government of india these are government initiatives in the digital india program this digital india program is started in 2015 and it is actually uh, initiated in 2015 and up to 2020 and again in 2021 this program scope is also expanded and after expansion few government initiative have came into it example bashni ai bashni ai is a translatory ai which helps in translation into different languages and this is envisioned to translate into all the 22 schedule 22 languages including the eighth schedule of the constitution second one is reskilling and upskilling of it sector employees and thirdly cyber security courses are provided fifth one funding fourth one funding support is given to the startups who are present in solving the problems related to rural and semi urban areas especially in tier 2 and tier 3 cities and providing eight super computers eight extra super computers in national super computing mission and integration of more than 200 uh, sites 200 sites 
into naval national cyber security coordination center so these are the initiatives after 2021 and let us look at the statistics what are the improvements done and what is the scope of this digital infrastructure in india firstly india is the second largest market for internet for internet connections and also around 650 million mobile handsets are used in india and second one by 2025 and 26 it is expected that every day upi will record 1 billion transactions and more than 1 billion transactions per day and by 2030 it is expected that digital transformation and digital infrastructure will create 1 billion economy and also add 60 to 65 million jobs these statistics actually provide the hope for digital infrastructure to expand and also the scope of digital infrastructure in india now let us look at the challenges to the digital infrastructure in india first challenge is lack of digital awareness and also digital illiteracy people who are digitally illiterate are mostly prone to the cyber attacks and also digital kind of frauds such as smishing etc and second one is lack of adequate data protection and thirdly poor digital infrastructure in many villages they are not they don't have access to the internet specifically to the high speed internet so these are the challenges faced and let us revise the class today first we did uh, speak about digital india mission and uh, when was it launched and also the purpose of the digital india mission is to provide digital infrastructure for uh, as a utility and provide governance and service delivery on demand and digital empowerment of the citizens these are the main purposes or the objectives of the mission and coming to the nine pillars broadband highways access to internet information for all it based jobs e governance e kranti e ma manufacturing and early harvest programs and universal access to mobile communications and after this we did talk about the government initiatives such as aadhar umang common service centers and meri pehchan beam etc and after 2021 this program is expanded and many services came into the fold of this they are bashni ai reskilling and upskilling of it sector and etc and finally we did talk about the statistics and also scope of improvement of the digital infrastructure and what are the challenges plaguing the digital infrastructure this is today's class hope you all understand thank you